Hi, welcome to Sunday School. This is the lesson for June 13th, David and Abigail. We're still in the early days of the green season. It's a time in the church calendar to learn and grow. The green season lasts all the way through summer and into fall until we get to Advent. Now let's practice our new Bible verse. Our unit for the next three weeks is peace. So our Bible verse and our Bible stories are all about peace. Our Bible verse is Matthew 5, 9. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 9. People who make peace are blessed because they will be called children of God. Now let's say it together one more time. Matthew 5, 9. People who make peace are blessed because they will be called children of God. We also have a new psalm as our call to worship. Psalm 117. Listen and follow along with the words on the screen. And the words are also below in the video description. Ready? Praise the Lord, everyone all over the world. Worship him, everybody, because his love for us is great and never ends. And the faithfulness of the Lord goes on forever. Praise the Lord. Now we're ready for our Bible story. This is called David and Abigail from 1 Samuel chapter 25, verses 1 through 42. Now, this is another story from the Hebrew Bible, which Christians sometimes call the Old Testament. Now, once there was a man named Nabal. He was very rich and he owned land in a place called Carmel. Nabal had 3,000 sheep and 1,000 goats. Now, King David's soldiers had protected him and his workers in the past. Now, King David sent 10 of his soldiers to Nabal and asked for them to give, be given some food and for Nabal to show them some hospitality to share with them. But Nabal got angry. He said, who is this David guy? He decided he was king instead of King Saul, who he was supposed to be serving. And now I'm supposed to share what I have with him? No. When King David heard about this, he got angry too, and he gathered 400 soldiers together to go and fight against Nabal. But Abigail, Nabal's wife, heard about this and she decided to do something about it. She gathered a whole bunch of food, 200 loaves of bread, two containers of wine, five sheep, five measures of grain to make bread with, 100 clusters of grapes, and 200 cakes of figs, just a ton of food and she loaded all of this food on donkeys, and she and her servants rode the donkeys to meet King David before he could come fight against her husband, Nabal. When Abigail saw King David, she jumped off her donkey and said, my king, please forgive my husband Nabal for being rude to your soldiers. Please accept these gifts that I have brought for you. It's a good thing you decided not to get even with Nabal today. May the Lord bless you. Now, King David was amazed. He said, you're right, I shouldn't get revenge for what Nabal said to my soldiers. Thank you for your gifts. I will not fight against your family. Go home in peace. Wow, what a crazy story. So Abigail saved her family from the king's attack. This month's unit is all about peace. Where do you see peace in this story? Now, if you were King David, what would you have done if someone insulted you or was rude to you? Hmm? Why do you think King David thought it was okay to fight against someone who was rude to him? Hmm. Now, since David was king and had an army, did Nabal really have a choice to say no to his request for food, to his request to share with the soldiers? Hmm. Think about whether it seems fair to you for a king or other ruler to ask a regular person to give them something. Hmm. Now, King David does not set a good example of how to behave in this story. If you could talk to him, what advice would you give him about how he should treat people? Hmm. Now, that's our story for today. Thank you for joining me. You can send me a message through the Google form and the link is below in the video description. Let's close with our Sunday School Closing Blessing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen.